Welcome back, everybody. So, we have our little two story bungalow house here. So, we we'll walk in here. This is the living room. So, I would imagine we would have maybe like a chair here. And we'd end up with like a couch there. Let's see for light. Let's do well, that's hanging down too low. So if I let's see if I take that out and put a light there, that should light up this whole first floor. And actually, I can do another one. Well, I can't do another one there because of the floor up there. I think. Let's see. Yeah, that's got a a. Yeah, it's got a floor there, doesn't it? Or maybe not. Maybe if I do that... Can I do this? No. Oh, okay, I see what I did. I see what I did. I put two... Put a half slab there, but I can put another light there. Well, that'll light that. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, for the table, what do I want to do for the table? I got blue carpeting. Do I have a fence? Maybe I've got a fence. Can I get. Oh, dang it. Um, I've got some spruce fence. Maybe that'll work. If I do a fence with a carpet on it for a side table, I figure you're going to need a side table. And this looks a little open. Let's do this. There. Yeah, I'll put some carpeting in here. That'd be nice. And then we'll stick some bookshelves over here. And then maybe like a bookshelf there. And a little flowered plant. Oh, and front door. There's a front door, and I do have a back door. Oh, what? Oh. That was kind of weird. Front door and a back door. This is the tiny little kitchen. There's a kitchen there. A sink. Actually, I don't want this. The stove can't go by the sink. The stove will have to go over here. A stove, a sink. there and actually do I have let's do like a cabinet there and a cabinet here yeah so we got a tiny little sink and then we got a couple cab like a cabinet there let's make another crafting bench this crafting bench over in the corner Some herbs. Is that herbs? That's a little bush. Let's get. I need herbs. I'm going to have to get some herbs. So I picked up some mushrooms and some herbs. And then a little, uh, like a beverage machine. So it's a tight little, tight little kitchen but it should have everything you need to make dinner we have a nice cozy little living room and then upstairs we have these two bedrooms let's make a couple doors Uh, 
that door there. This door here. Oh yeah, I've got... Yeah, I think I need to... Uh, yeah, I need like three blocks to fill that in. I've got to accommodate for the door. Let's grab one of these, one of these, and one of those. Oh. There we go. So like here, put a door here, door here, and there. I still got, oh, I still have a little bit up there. Yeah, that's a whole block. I guess I need, need more than I thought. So that's, let's see, do, do, do. I got some polish and some normal granite and some normal bricks. Yeah, I think that'll work. End up in here. This is going to be like a single bedroom. Add that there. Let's put this over here. I'm going to add it. I'm going to put that on top of it. That's good. I figure you're going to have posters on the wall, but not that big a poster. Put that poster there. Maybe that one there? No. Let's do... That. No, no, I didn't want that one either. There. Look at there, and I think I'm going to put like, let's see that there. a little too tight. What if I just there. It's a little desk. So we got a bed and a desk. And look over here, this is gonna be the one that's got nice the nice big room's got the balcony. I don't have room for a window in here unless I push that. No, I could. I'm not going to fight with it. That's not even going to worry about that. Stick the bed here. So you come in here. You have your bed. Got that. Oh, I thought I could put a lantern on there, but maybe I can't. Can I put a uh, flower pot on there? Well, that's weird. I can put a flower pot on there, but I can't put a lantern. That's kind of odd. There. I didn't I didn't place that crafting bench. Let's 
storage chest. Maybe another photo there. There. I think that works. All I need now is a door for the balcony. And luckily, I made an extra door. So if we put this one here, yeah, that'll work. And then I'm just going to stick that there. Alrighty now, got one house done. So that is this house all complete. So now I just need to do is fill out the rest of these. I've got, I'm gonna do one, two, yeah, just two more right here. And then maybe a little park thing over there. So I just need to do this twice more. And we'll have a little set of houses here. And I think that's gonna look mighty fine. we go have our row houses here already looked at this one I put in uh, some landscaping around the edges lots of moss to keep a pesky snow away and a little bit of hedge in between each one so then got a little privacy yard not much of a yard but 
They're almost identical. I mean, pretty much so the brick and stuff is the same. The roof is a little different on each one. And I'm not quite sure what happened to this one. This one, the roof is completely different. At least at the top. At the top there, I only have like a half slab. And I got the two stairs meeting in the middle here. So I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure what happened. It's Is, this, is it two wide? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, okay, that's why I accidentally built it too wide. Yeah, so I th and that's that makes sense because this there's only one space here. It's supposed to be two. When I laid this out, I plant what the. I'm sorry, I guess someone's using the litter box over there. Anyhow, um, yeah, I planned for two in between the hedge and the building. And I wondered why there was one here. And that's because I I pushed this. I thought maybe I'd move this one over too far, which I did, actually. But I also went over the exact distance over here. So anyhow, so that's a little too wide. So let's take a look inside. This one has a nice big living room with this uh, blue shag carpeting. A little desk over here. And then all of them have the same layout with the uh, living room there and the small kitchen back here. So just sort of move that in there. And then up here we got our stairway, which goes into two different bedrooms. You got the back bedroom here with just a single bed and a desk to work at. And then you have this one here, which is a double bed. And this layout works a lot better than the one over there where I got to the balcony because this the I think the other one over there is just a straight shot. This one I kind of laid it out in a sideways fashion here. I can still get the double beds in here. Ain't got enough room to walk around it, but I kind of kind of jotted out, jotted out. I kind of hooked out here with this wall. Using the wall gives me like half a block or quarter of a block extra and moving the door over kind of frees all that area up and I can still get out here on the balcony and take a look at stuff and then let's go look at the last house over here the last one looks about the same from the front I fought over how to do that window up there because once we get in there you see there's a wall there I was, and I can't really put two you know identical windows there or one big window so it's, it's kind of a little you know off balance but I think it'll be fine and it's gonna have to be fine I'm not changing it and on this one too besides making it wider I kind of put the had the, the porch roof down one so it's a little lot you know like a lot lower than this other one so I can only use a two high window here instead of a four high window but the living and the living room is a little different too I got this gigantic couch here a lot of extra windows in here but the uh, kitchen is the same so at least the kitchen looks fine and I guess, yeah, this one's down two, I think. Well, actually, I think the I think the porch ceiling, you know, the roof of the porch is fine in this one. And then we'll take a look upstairs. Once again, I tried to, you know, rearrange this in a manner, a different different way. I didn't put a, a porch out here I figured uh, no upper deck in this one but this one has a nice big bed and a lot of room got a nice desk area over there and in the back one is a small little room here with a one single bed so that should do it for these and they came out how I imagined them I was looking you know uh, I don't know what they call those brown. These are shotgun houses, I guess, because they're just sort of straight. They go back, back and up. They're not too wide. 
but I don't with the brick gives it kind of a city feel or an older feel I kind of like the way the brick is the brick is just a pain to get to I mean I can I can I got the brick generator the clay generator and I can make the brick but have to wait for it to smelt and everything it just takes forever but I'll probably build some more brick houses later on but I think for now I am done I wonder if I should actually fix this. If I, I'm gonna go here. If I do that, if I get rid of this, like that, and get rid of this, can I make a stairway up? Yeah, maybe I could do a stairway up. Do I have any uh, stairs? I don't think I've got any stone stairs over here. Uh, I've got some cobblestone. So maybe I can do some cobblestone stairs. I mean, it's not a perfect match, but I've been doing mismatched stuff all over the place here, so... If I do cobble stairs there, oops, cobble stairs here, uh, shovel. This. Of course, I lose this light. There, I think I'm going to have to lose some of this over here. Okay, let's open that up. So I got light there, light there. That's good. If I do block here, block here, and maybe block, block. Something like that. Yeah, I think that'll work. Still can see the dirt there, but I, I'm going to leave that there. Kind of for the charm of it. Let me actually just do this. Yeah, then you got a, a way up on either side. Because it was kind of weird. This road just sort of ended right there. But it makes more sense if it goes down. You can get over here to the coffee shop or over and enjoy the art gallery, which is no longer a uh, zombie farm. Although that does tell me if things are lit up well enough that just making a dark room over here creates a big mob farm. That's pretty good. Oh, let's see. There? Yeah. And I still have bunch of snow here so I guess I'm gonna have to get a bunch of this brown carpeting and just sort of lay it all through here disappointing but I need to get rid of that snow so anyhow we have this finished so I think that takes care of this upper level I think I've got everything on this upper level done I've got everything down below. So all this stuff is all done down here. And oh, look at that. I've got more, more snow. And I think everything from he here down is taken care of. So the next thing I need to build, I imagine, is going to be over on this other side. And that is going to be... Well, I have my cathedral I still need to build. I've got that all planned out. So the zombie, the church is going to go over there. And it's pretty big. Oh, I need to do this. So this needs to be the hot spring. So I need to finish the wall and kind of landscape up into there. And then redo this whole interior to be a hot spring. Because, yeah, because this is still unfinished. I've got that part done with the hot springs. I need to add more moss and stuff and get a bunch more mossy cobble. 
But I need to kind of make this hot water all the way through here because this is what people come to the city to see is the hot springs. And this cave here is going to go away. So I think I'll wall this up and just fill it with water. And I have to fill this area over here with water too. So this whole area here is going to be underwater. And really it's only going to go up to this level. This will be the main level. So this will all be water. I'll kind of clear out a lot of these and put pillars in. So this will all be hot springs. With little paths and stuff going around so you can enjoy them. But it looks like it's getting nighttime. I'm done for the day. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. I'm hoping you're having a great day. And I will see you all later. Bye-bye.